Hello, this is RJ. Hey, Let's call him back. Hello, you have reached Henry Todd with you. I'm unavailable right now. Now I'll call you back as soon as possible. Hey. Hello. Hey, it's that ignorant motherfucker. Um uh, so how come you call and and you cuss me out? And, and then you don't, then you don't let me the the, the respond. Thanks, Debbie, for the information about your house. And she's been dead for over two years. Okay, so she never sent you no information. Okay, you're you're absolutely. What the fuck are you thinking about it? Well, that that doesn't make me ignorant. That's that's an improper that's an improper use of the word. You told her and you never talked to her, and she's been dead for two years. Understood. My woman, it was ignorant for fucking saying you talked to her because she never sent you shit. Okay. Now, do you want to understand why I sent that? Why? Okay. Now, the reason why I sent that is, is because I can't just come out and ask you the question I want to ask you, and I might be able to help you out. And the well, reason... Here's the thing. You couldn't just text me. You couldn't just text. Hey, you should have looked up first and found out that she was dead. And then said, hey, who's ever at the house... Can I talk to you about it? You don't say thanks, Debbie, for the information because you never talked to her. Understood. And I understand why that can you be. Understand where I'm coming from. That was the love of my life, dude. I understood, dude. I get it. My grandmother passed away. My dad's passed away. I've, I've lost loved ones as well. And I understand that that's a trigger for you. And I apologize about that. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. The reason why I can't just ask you, the reason why I can't just ask you the question is because the carriers mark us as spam if I ask that question. There's certain words I can't use, like house or for sale or things like that. So I have to come up with templates like that. So obviously it triggered you, and that's a terrible inc incidents here. It could have very easily just been like, hey, did you get my voicemail? Or hey, did you get my letter? But unfortunately, it sent the wrong one. But at the end of the day, I still might be someone that could help you out if you're looking to sell a property. So that's all I'm trying to reach out for. I'm just a guy that's trying to take care of his family just like you are, man. And so I apologize that it, it hurt you and it pissed right. you off. All right. Understood. I'm sorry, I, but you got to know why I get where I get sometimes. No, I, okay. I completely understand, man. If somebody sent me that shit, I'd be just as upset as you. Sometimes I get phone calls. Phone calls where they're like, hey, yeah, I just talked to you. I'm like, dude, you didn't talk. Right. Understood. Okay, yeah. When I get shit like that, yeah, I, I lose it. And I'm sorry, man. That girl was my, my love of my life. I had it for 30 years. I apologize, man. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, thanks, man. It's not your fault. God needed me more than I did, but I got you, man. Well, but real talk. I mean, do you, do you have a property that you're wanting to sell? Well, here's the thing. I've been here for thirty years. All right, and the thing is, I tried. Since she had two mortgages on it, it was twenty five hundred dollars a month. I can't afford that myself, and I hadn't paid fucking over a year. So I was actually waiting for it to go into foreclosure. And then I was thinking about buying it. My daughter was going to buy it back for me. And I was just, you know, I can't fit for 25 hundred dude. It's crazy. This is a big house. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No, I, I haven't seen it in person. But, you know, you, you showed up on my list as someone. It's, it's Romeville Ranch, right? Okay. It's a ranch. I got five bedrooms in it. It's the same amount of living. I put a whole addition across the back of my house. I was a union carpenter. I put a whole addition across the back of my house. My living room is the size of a living room and kitchen. It's got the same amount of living space as a two-story house. It's a badass house. So let me ask you this, because you're obviously in, in foreclosure, right? I mean... Well, it's going to be sooner or later. I'm surprised it ain't yet, but they never sent me a letter. So are you open to selling the property? Yeah, I, 
So they had. Okay. If, if you were to sell it today, what price would you want to sell it at? And you know what? Here's the deal. I have to talk to my daughter. I got your number. What's your name? My name's RJ Bates. But real quick, but before I just want to make sure I'm I'm even like an option for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm a. Yeah, here's the deal. My name's Butch, right? Right. And I'm going to have to talk to my daughter, RJ. How about I get back to you, man, within a couple of days? All right, buddy. Sounds good, Butch. I'll save your phone number, okay? Yeah, and I will get a hold of you. I just got to talk to my daughter. We'll see what's up. All right, man. Talk to you soon. All right, man. Hey, sorry I lost control of myself, bud. No worries, man. Hey. Maybe it'll be a cool story where, where we can tell everybody how we first met. Right, right, yeah. Guy cussed me off in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you can forevermore just call me ignorant motherfucker, okay? Nah, dude. I'm not, you know, bro. Here's the thing. I used to be trouble. I used to cause all kinds of shit. And, uh, here, here, here's 25. When she left me, I hooked up with a redhead. All right? And I don't know you about redheads. Redheads are fucking hard to find, but they're even harder to fucking get rid of. All right, and I, and I got in some trouble, but finally, like I went to jail when I kicked her out. When I kicked her out, she took everything I had. Everything, but it was all right. I had no clothes or nothing, but yeah, bro. So I'm sort of losing it. I'm sorry, but I was, yeah, I'll get a hold of you in a couple of days. All right, Butch. Talk to you soon. All right, man. Have a good day. Bye-bye.